Hey guys, it's Jessie V and I'm wearing like the weirdest sweater right now I don't know if you can see but there's so many like random strings and stuff on it Like it's really weird. It looks like it's falling apart and that's kind of why I loved it <laughs> relatable falling apart <laughs> But um, yeah, if you see like strings flying around as I'm talking, it's it's fine It's supposed to be that way. Anyways guys as you can tell by the title of this video We're talking about some more creepy Trevor Henderson creatures. I am so inspired by him He's an amazing artist. I'm gonna link all of his information information down below in the description. There's always just so much to talk about, so give this video a thumbs up if you want me to continue talking about his creatures. I love doing this. Before I get started though, I just want to remind you that we have so many cool new summer things up on the website. One of my favorite things that we have right now is our popsicle bag. It's literally shaped like the cutest popsicle. It has this gorgeous gold chain around it. I love it so much. So if you guys would like one, I have linked it down below. We also have some really cool new popsicle ice cream, pop sockets. They're really interesting and unique. So yeah, you guys can check everything out down below. And yeah, let's get right into this video. The very first creature we're going to be talking about is called Cartoon Girl. Now, she's also known as Yo-Yo, which is a very interesting name. Yo-Yo looks like a normal human being with a bear mask. She has a height of five feet and has human arms and legs. She wears a long girl's dress and in many images, her hands are not visible. So obviously, Yo-Yo's face is not a human face. It looks like a drawing of a bear's face with two large cartoon eyes. Now, there's a very tragic legend behind Yo-Yo. They say that she was actually a human before she turned into this monster. As a human, she was avoided many times and other people would think she was boring. So Yo-Yo felt very sad and unincluded in life. And after a while, she stopped playing with people. She stopped seeing friends because no one really seemed to like her. She slowly stopped going outside and her parents were away busy at work. So they never realized that she was having issues. She basically spent all of her time alone in her bedroom. So she started to draw to pass the time. She drew absolutely everything around her and as days passed, Yo-Yo started to lose her mind. She was turning into this giant mess. She had so much anger and sadness. She hated the world around her and day by day she would sit and look out her window and she would see all the kids playing around outside and she could not control her feelings. As she watched them, she wanted to go after them. She wanted to harm them. So right away, she began to draw. She drew the face of a large yellow bear. She cut it out. She put it over her face to use as a face mask. She stormed downstairs, ran outside, and went up to the kids and started to growl at them like a bear. Her initial goal was to scare them away. The thing was, at first glance, they didn't give much attention to what she was doing. In fact, they started to laugh at her because all they saw was this little girl with a bear mask trying to growl at them, which I agree would look very bizarre. So she got angry and ran at the kids and attacked them. And those kids were never found again. So it went from zero to a hundred pretty quickly. Then she went after some more kids. She would follow them home and she, it, it, uh, it wasn't good. The legend goes that after she did this, she was not human anymore. Her bare face became permanent and Yo-Yo was now nicknamed the cartoon girl. So she ran away from her home where no one could find her and she wrote all around the places where kids would linger and she'd watch them play and get angry all over again and then out of nowhere those kids would be attacked and never seen again because at the root of all her anger she hated kids and she did not want to see them happy it's because yo-yo felt like her right to be a happy kid was snatched away from her and she now lives in abandoned forests and buildings and she's seen giving poisonous candy and venomous spiders away to kids if she ever sees any kid alone she'll walk up to them and growl behind this bear mask. She'll even confront lonely travelers and stand in front of them on four legs like a bear. It is also said that when she meets somebody, she'll extend her hand as if offering a handshake. And if the person gets scared and runs away screaming, she'll go after them and attack them. But if the person gives her a handshake without fear, she'll let them go unharmed. It's almost like she's just craving human attention. But yeah, this whole cartoon girl character is absolutely terrifying and I would not want to meet her, but also her backstory is really sad. All right, the next creature is called the Door Monster Finder. Door Monster Finder at first glance appears to be a head of a man peeking through a door, but at the same time, the legs of either the victim or the creature seem to be floating. Now you can't really see too much detail of this creature because of the darkness of the photo, but people assume it's a very tall man standing in a doorway with glowing eyes and a large mouth. Apparently the creature preys on innocent people in their homes by entering 
entering through the front door and moving around the house completely unnoticed. Then, if a victim is downstairs getting a snack or watching TV, it will sneak behind them and take them away to a nearby forest to later consume the victim. If the victim is in its bed, it will crawl into the closet and mimic a loved one's voice, thereby confusing the person and thus luring them to their inevitable doom. Many people have apparently tried to kill this creature to get rid of it, but nothing has worked because apparently this creature has incredible fighting skills, it has long claws. But I found one way that you can get this creature to leave your house, it's really bizarre. It says to deter this creature, you have to nail four nails into wood and then chant this six times. We are not who you want, we are not who you want. This will let the creature know that you're not food and then it will leave, which is really strange. <laughs> and lastly we have a creature called a baby in the basement. The creature has a head that resembles a misshapen baby mannequin's head, and it's attached to a long, fleshy neck that winds down to a thin, skeletal body. The creature is on all fours, and apparently it's five feet high when it's doing that, but if it actually stands up, apparently it's seven feet tall, which is terrifying. The baby in the basement is an extremely hostile creature, chasing and attacking almost anything it sees. Now, the reason behind why this creature is what it is is sort of unknown. As its name suggests, the creature manifests only in the basements of homes. No one has ever seen this creature outside of a basement. It says a dwelling's family member should be safe as long as no one ventures into the basement. And it's said that if a house doesn't have a basement, you're, you're totally fine. It will never bother you. It only goes into houses with basements. So comment down below if you don't have a basement because then you're safe. So basically, if you go into the basement and it hears you, it's going to run over to you on all fours and eat you. But this creature entirely relies on sound. Apparently it has very bad eyesight, it lives in the dark. So if you're making any noise, that's when it will find you. But if you go down there completely unheard, you should be fine. So yeah, next time I'm in my basement, I'm gonna be terrified. <laughs> Anyways guys, those are the three Trevor Henderson characters we're gonna be talking about today. Please let me know if you would like me to talk about more and you could also tell me which ones you want me to cover. And yeah, don't forget if you like one of the new popsicle purses, I have linked it down below. But I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!